What's up YouTube and what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald, the insanely randomized Nuzlocke, episode number three. In the last episode, which was yesterday, we made our way from Oldale Town to Petalburg City, battling all of those trainers on that route. Uh, we helped Wally catch his first Pokemon, which turned out to be a Crawdont. Uh, and then we battled our way here to the beginning of the Petalburg Woods. Along the way, we caught ourselves a new friend, which you can see right below us, but it had a pretty hype reaction with it. So if you want to check out the last episode and make sure you're all caught up, you can click the i card right at the top of the screen and it'll take you straight to that. Now in today's episode, as I said, we're going to go through the Petalburg Woods and see how far we can make it in the episode. So if you're excited for more Pokemon Emerald, if you've been enjoying the series so far, go and hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new because this series is going great so far. And uh, let's start off with a quick team recap. Again, if you don't want to be spoiled, that iCard is still there. You can click on that. So, got 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, let's jump into it. First up was our starter that you all helped me choose. Thank you so much for that again. Uh, we have Rohan, our Psychic Steel-type Magikarp with the ability Liquid Ooze. Quirky Nature uh, with some well-rounded stats. Special Attack is creeping ahead a little bit. Uh, good to remember, good to remember, but we have the move Megahorn, and that's the only thing that we have for now. Next up, we have Nevena, our normal bug type Gorobis, with the ability Magma Armor. Careful Nature, with some pretty good stats, especially that defense and speed. Okay, we have Air Cutter and Swagger. And then the newest member to our team, Hype, 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 we have Oscar, the fire type Sceptile. With Shell Armor, Naughty Nature, so there are his stats, great attack, great defense, great special attack, okay speed. If he gets hit by a special move, he might just, just, just pop. But we have Flame Wheel, Twister Uproar, and Sacred Fire. So we do have Sacred Fire, which is nuts. That's Stab. Um, but that's what we got. That's our team for right now. I feel like we should lead Rohan. Let's get Rohan some levels in today's episode. Um, so that's it. Now, we'll go ahead and jump into it. As I say, uh, if for some reason, you know, we talked about this in the last episode. We got some new lighting stuff going on uh, that you can see. You can obviously see it's a little brighter than it was in the past. But uh, if for some reason it changes mid-episode, I might have to reach up and fix it. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Okay, I do have money. So I'm going to go ahead and run back real quick. Got a, a Nummel. Or is it new Mel? I don't know. Alright, um, so since Sceptile was caught in the last video, how about our question of the day be, what is your favorite third gen Pokemon? Let's do that as our question of the day for today. What is your favorite third, t third gen Pokemon? I did not need to heal. I meant to come in here. I feel like buying ten of these. Because I want to get the Premier Ball. I mean, I don't need that. I'm going to hold on to the Sacred Ash because our starter was carrying it. And it's just going to remind me that if we die, well, rest in peace. I feel like buying 10 Pokeballs would be stupid right now. There are a lot of really difficult trainers coming up. My my heart just tells me that I have to do this. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go with that. I really wanted to get a premier ball, but that's okay because it's just an extra Pokeball. Um, but that's all right. That's all right. So make our way back into Petalburg Woods where we can catch ourselves a new Pokemon. Make our way this way. You don't battle, right? Sometimes there are things on the ground even if you can't see them. That's why I always check where I'm going. You mean like right here? A red shard. I think I can sell that. Actually. Oh, wait. Oh, I think I can sell that. You can't make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. Anyway, 
All right, here's our first encounter in Petalburg Woods. It is a Stantler. Okay. Sure. All right, Rohan, come on out, buddy. It's going to die to a Megahorn. 100%. If it doesn't die, I'll catch it. Hyperfan. You think you could just hyperfang me? You think you could just hyperfang me? That did nothing. Uh, hyperfang is a bug type move, and it wasn't very effective. Let's hyperfang, hyperfang. Normal type, that's fine. Let's switch it into Venna. We're gonna go for air cutter. I feel like it's gonna take it out. All right, let's go for. I'm not gonna use all of these Pokeballs. I might. I don't know how many I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna use many. I'll tell you that much. If Stantler doesn't evolve, it's a. There you go, we caught it anyway. Change settings, I need to go to a feminine name. Okay, so uh, we have Stantler, the Bighorn Pokemon. Stantler's Magnificent and... Stantler's Magnificent... Stantler's Magnificent Antlers were once traded at high prices as work of art. As works of art. As a result, this Pokemon was hunted to extinction. And its name will quite simply be... Rhea. Alright, so we have Rhea the Stantler joining the squadron. Uh, so we have... So we're normal flying type with the ability Blaze... Timid Nature, which up speed and lowers, it looks like special defense, uh, with Hyper Fang. All right, so that's the thing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and run back and heal super quick, because if I'm gonna lead with uh, Rohan, our Magikarp, I really don't want it to die. I really don't want it to die. We are here now. Let's go ahead and run through here. I got a whole bunch of Pokemon. Go, go, go! My bug Pokemon team. Really? Really? All right, show me what you got. Show me what you got. So again, question of the day. Who is your favorite third generation Pokemon? So your favorite newest Pokemon. Uh, oh, that looks cool. Transformed into normal type, right? Um, mine is either Sceptile or... Latios. Uh, yeah, Sceptile or Latios. One of those two. You have a fire move. Uh, and you just tried to use it. So, But you're only level 3. And I missed as well. So, yeah. That deserved to, that deserved to almost kill me. Come on, Rohan. You gotta be better than that. You have a Magmar. My guy. Drizzle. I'm not going to heal yet. This might... Well, he's going to die. But, um... Huh? Alright, that's fine. That literally didn't... Well, it, okay. It it did one. Is that considered doing something? Uh, I'm going to switch into Oscar. Oh, no. I'm so scared of being hit by a, a, a special move. Because Oscar is seemingly frail on the special defense. Okay, so Magmar... This is so much less crazy than our last playthrough where the move data was all randomized. Follow me. Absolute flash fire. Uh, let's go... Out to Rohan? It's only a level 3. Okay, it only has two moves. No, it might only have one move, actually. Now that I say that out loud. Alright, anyway. So in our crystal playthrough that we did, everything was randomized. I mean everything. The move data was randomized. That's why we called it the completely randomized Nuzlocke. Uh, I should save. I really should go heal. So yeah, in this one, we decided, I asked you guys in episode zero, and a couple people responded to it, 
um, that if we were going to do randomized move sets, and people said no. Uh, also, on that note, I, I don't think I'm going to say this in every episode, but here at the beginning I will. Uh, if you could take a second and really answer that question of the day, it doesn't take a lot. All you have to do is tell me one, just this one, one letter. I could have caught a Celebi! And it has Intimidate! We had a Celebi in our last playthrough too. Spoilers if you haven't seen it. Hmm, I'm trying to think of what kind of voice I want to give this guy. Hmm, not a one to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. I was going to ambush you, but you but you had to dwaddle in the Petalburg Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. Hey! You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You've got to help me, please. Huh, what do you think you're doing? What, you're going to protect him? No one who crosses Team Aqua gets any mercy, not even a kid. Come on and battle me. Alright, so we're facing off against Team Aqua for the first time. That's pretty hype. That's pretty hype, hype, hype. But yeah, if you could take a second and answer that question of the day just below, just let me know. It can only be one word. I just want to know who your um, who your favorite Pokemon Gen 3 is. It really does help out. You know, the way that YouTube works is if they see that a, a video has a lot of comments or whatever, then uh, they're more likely to recommend it to other people. And that's how we want to grow this. So... Just take a quick second and tell me who your favorite is down below. I'm going to try and talk more about the question of the days at the beginning of the episodes in order to uh, help that. Ah, you're not doing anything to me. I'm about to pop you. Get popped. Alright, that didn't do as much as I would have liked, but Thrash isn't doing anything. So I'm just going to keep going at it, and he's going to get confused. Oscar will be able to take this out. Good job, Oscar. I'm so excited to have a Sceptile on the team. Like I said, Sceptile or Latios are my favorite mons in Gen 3. I always start with... Uh, I always start with Trico when I do like an actual Gen 3 game. Uh, I don't think I've ever started with the others. Maybe once I started with Mudkip and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Oh, whoops. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we of Team Aqua are also after something in Rustboro. I'll let you go today. Whoa, that was awful. That was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. I know, I'll give you a great ball as my thanks. Didn't that Team Aqua Thug say they were after something in Rustboro too? Uh-oh, it's a crisis. I can't be wasting time. Let me go run in the exact same direction that he just came from. Alright, anyway, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that rat attack. It was almost Oscar's last last days. It was almost his last days in the last episode. What's this gonna be? A Celebi? A Stantler? Alright. Excuse me! We're not doing this. Now I have to battle with a weakened Uh You have a Dodrio. I don't know why like traced Okay, anyway. I saw it, it trace, I was like, what? Brass chop. Hold on. Hold on, that might be concerning. Uh... That might be a little concerning. So, I need to look at something. Fighting. Fighting, 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 fighting. The steel is two times. So, I need to get out of here. And I'm going to go into Oscar. Because he's the only one that that won't be super effective on. And I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for my first Sacred Fire. You're gone. Oh, I could have just gone for Flame Wheel. I just wanted to be sure that it died. You know what I mean? There's no place for death on this playthrough. I learned Mudshot. Mudshot seems good. Seems better than uh, Twister. We're gonna get rid of Twister. I don't need Twister. Mudshot could come in really helpful, especially if that, uh, especially if it'll like lower somebody's somebody's accuracy. Sends out a Nitto Queen. Okay. I'm gonna go for Flame Wheel again. Just kind of seeing what this thing's gonna do. Not very effective. Okay. Glare. All right. So I'm paralyzed. I'm gonna go for Mudshot. Use Meteor Mash. 
Oh, that shouldn't do. Yeah, that did one. Wait, so... Oh, okay, I was thinking of I was thinking of the wrong move. My fault, my fault. Uh, flame wheel will not miss. Okay, good job, Oscar. Again, I'm not going to speed up too much. It's just like... When we're in a battle like that, where... On a lychee berry. I did make it so that the items were a little more open than they were before. Uh... So I'm not necessarily always going to run into great items, but all right, we're on Route 104, which I do believe is the exact same as it was. Wait, TM09? What is that? Is that actually Mud Slap? It is. So I was thinking of Mud Slap instead of Mud Shot. I'm pretty sure Route 104 is the same as it is on the other side. But let's check real quick, because I, I kind of want to go heal, and I'm just going to use this as my excuse to go heal. Hey, controller, don't do that. Yeah, so we're in the same route over there. All right, what time are we at? We're, okay, great. We're fine. We're fine. Another septile. That's hype. That's just super hype. All right, because these last trainers, there's a bunch of, like, if I remember, I Swablu, there's all kinds of Pokemon in here. Goodness gracious. Alright. Uh, but the, yeah, there are some really strong trainers in this bit. Kubo. What did we catch? We caught a Stantler in here. Uh, a normal flying Stantler at that. Is it a reindeer? <gasps> no, it would be ice type. Never mind. Not as excited as I was. Not as excited as I was. Oh gosh, I'm already regretting not not uh, banning bad items. Reptile, go away! Found a magnet. Okay, that's a good item. So once we get somebody, that stop, stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, we don't need to be in here, but. Well more pale. Cherry berry. I pressed the wrong thing. Okay. Actually, I'm not going to stand there because I knew that that guy was there. All right. Elite Four Antoinette. Don't tell him he's Elite Four. That's going to get his confidence too high. He's going to think he's something. Man. In the first episode. I have very bad memories of Future Sight. We out. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you go ahead. Use Future Sight on my Novena. Tell me how that works out for you. Tell me how that works out for you. Oh, wait. A normal bug. Wait. Who you might call it is the psychic type. Rohan. Your special defense is not that bad. All right, we're gonna now I'm not gonna fall for this trick. I know you're standing there waiting for me. I know you are. Alright, we are gonna battle. I'm just not gonna I'm just not gonna let her play her tricks on me. I'm not gonna let her play her tricks on me, so you have a plusle. I have a Navena. Let's see, how much does Air Cutter do? This is an okay this is an okay. Doom Desire. Is that like... Wait, what does Doom Desire do? I actually don't know. I actually don't know. I gotta look this up. Yes, submit. Doom Desire. 
On the turn, this attack will do nothing other than state it. Two turns later, Doom Desire will do damage against the target. Damage dealt use the attack stat of the user and defense stat of the target at the time of move selection. All right, Navenna. Um, I'm I'm a, I'm a little concerned because I don't exactly understand what that said, but my understanding is we should be okay. We grew to level twelve, and Doom Desire should hit now. Okay, anyway, anyway, moving on. All right, uh, now, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Because, here we go, the first time, we're twins, so we battle Pokemon together. It's a cool story, I don't remember it. Okay, got a little bit of power on the screen in front of us, but let's go for an air cutter, and let's go for a mud shot on the camera up. That's super effective. That's super effective. Oscar doesn't affect. Okay, so it's a flying type. Egg Bomb misses. And Crab Hammer. Is that gonna kill me? Pretty close. Jeez. Alright, but that's okay. Navenna doesn't miss. So, good job. Actually, Air Cutter might not be able to miss. I don't know for sure. I, I'm a terrible Pokemon trick. Okay, it, do, it can miss. Uh. Fun fact, in case you didn't know, Air Cutter can miss. Alright. Level 13. Great. Great. Progressing. Progressing. So, at the moment, our uh, our Magikarp is falling behind. Uh, but that's okay. So here we are in Rustboro City. And all we're going to do here... Looking at our time. So we're actually almost out of time. I am going to go back and finish up the trainers on the route. Next episode will be some of this. There will not be a grinding montage before the next episode. I think we're going to save grinding montages for either when we die or right before a gym. Uh, so we don't need that right now. Let's go down here. And now that we're healed up, let's actually give Rohan the, the, uh, the lead again. Take on this guy. I'm a water Pokemon expert, huh? You don't know me. You ain't Misty. You ain't Misty? You ain't what? 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 Wallace? You ain't Juan? You ain't what else? What else? Who else? Who else? Uh Crush Awake? Uh uh you ain't uh uh who else? Who uh uh you ain't uh what, what's that new girl's name? Lonnie? Oh my gosh, I, I totally forgot her name. Yeah, we don't miss twice. You don't miss twice and get to stay on my team. No, 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 Rohan. Dusko. Okay, let's go ahead and switch out. Oscar, you're up. Whipped up a whirlwind. Well, you're not going to get the fire off that whirlwind. Bye-bye, Dusko. Our team is really powerful. I, I'm liking this. Charmander. I've never used the Charmander line in this game. Now, the way that my last two playthroughs have gone, we've always managed to catch a Charmander or get a Charizard somehow. So, we're probably going to. We'll see. Two Cherry Berries. Yes, pick them. And two Lepa Berries. Yes, pick them. Lepa Berry is my favorite berry. See berries growing, feel free to take them, make sure you blah 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 blah. Okay, uh there's an item it would appear. Alright, um so let's just run up in here. Just real quick. Just real quick. So I'm going to sell only a hundred dollars. Only a hundred dollars. If 
$50. $2,000 for the Max Revive. There you go. It is all yours. And now I'm going to buy... I can finally buy a bunch of these. Buy 14 of them. I shouldn't need any... Ooh! And I have no money. All right. So we are going to go ahead and call that an episode. So in today's episode, I think we made some pretty good progress. We made it through Petalburg City, through Petalburg Woods. We did not lose anybody. Our team is nice and powering up. We even added a Stantler to the team, which... Hey, if Stantler is your favorite Pokemon, shoutouts to you. You have terrible taste. But uh, <laughs> in the next episode, we will explore around Rustboro City and potentially head off to the Rustboro... No. The Verdon Borough, no, the Rust and Turf, no, I don't remember what's called. But uh, in the next episode, we will continue progressing through. So if you enjoyed today's episode, go and hit that like button down below and comment the question of the day, which is down there below the game. It really helps out so much, and I appreciate everything you guys do to help me out. We will see you tomorrow for the next episode of Pokemon Emerald, the completely randomized Nuzlocke. Until then, have a blessed day.